the ethos of Afrocentric education was being pushed, the idea that we center Africa and decentralize Europe, the idea that we talk about resistance and not always our oppression. Because many times as people of color, we're always taught what happens to us and we're not taught how we fight back. And then when we fight back, how the state literally seeks to destroy us. And if anybody has a question of that, they could look at the current FBI report that has now just named black identity as an extremist group. But in that report, they also have a ninth one that they've named, and that's Puerto Rican nationalists. At the time that Puerto Rico is in crisis, the FBI wants to say that Puerto Rican nationalism is an extremist identity that could lead to terrorism. The system of white supremacy does not actually need white people to carry it out. That you can have a black man be an imperialist and you can have a woman be a patriarch like Hillary Clinton and all her policies. And I was like, and young people are not reading, like what is happening? They're just making an assumption that because you look like we do, that we're gonna do the right thing for our people. But that's not how power plays. And in a society that is increasingly becoming people of color, it's like South Africa, right? Majority black, minority rule. That's what's happening in America. Except in America, we also have the 1% of the 1%. People don't wanna center racial justice. They wanna talk about everything else. If the working class is good, racism ends. No, there's working people that are white that are racist because they've constructed a white identity that makes them think they're better than everybody else or it's been constructed for them. The idea that African-American Latinos are not the largest working class. We are the working class. Our numbers of poverty speak for themselves. Latest numbers come out. 80% of black and Latinos lost all their wealth during the recession. Women of color make $5 to every white woman making $3,000 with a college degree. Like, that, that's real. So what happened is a new generation was sold a bill of goods. Like, the black man's president is all good. Well, it's not. What are we here for college? To get a job? What job? What jobs are out there right now that are gonna sustain us? There's no more working 40 years at one place and having a pension. You have to be multilingual, multi-identity, sustainability. To me, the larger issue that I always would rather talk about is capitalism. How this system is destroying all of us, regardless of race, ethnicity, and sexuality. I would love to get to that point where all of us are talking about the system of capitalism. But I cannot get to that point where every 28 hours or less, an African American or Latino or Native person is being shot. I can't get to that point where black, queer, trans, or black, queer, or black trans women are the most shot by the police have the lowest life expectancy rate, 35 years old. Women don't need men to be allies. We need you to break patriarchy and misogyny and sexism, not to say, I get how you feel, and then perpetuate patriarchy, sexism, and misogyny.